the Eucharistic Miracle of Evora, Spain, in the year 1010. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. John 6:55. In the 11th century, Europe was plagued with all sorts of heresies. Doctrines that denied the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, swept across Europe with such great intensity that even priests came under its influence. We recall one such event that occurred in 11th century Spain. In the year 1010, Monsignor Bernard Oliver was the parish priest of Evora, belonging to the Diocese of Salsana. Located in northeastern Spain, Evora is a tiny village in the province of Lida with a population of 114 individuals, as of the 2014 census. Father Burnett was haunted with doubts concerning the mystical reality of transubstantiation, the changing of the bread and wine, into the body and blood of Jesus Christ, through the action of the Holy Spirit. One day, he was celebrating Holy Mass at the ancient Romanesque Church of St. Mary. After pronouncing the words of consecration, he was shocked to see the wine in his chalice turn into real blood. A fountain of human blood gushed forth from the chalice onto the corporal, overflowing to the altar cloth, all the way to the pavement of the chapel. The people attending the holy sacrifice of the Mass witnessed this incredible miracle and were filled with amazement. At the same moment, the bells of the church began to ring mysteriously without human intervention, as if to announce this great and marvelous news to the entire neighborhood. After seeing such an astounding event, Father Burnett was awestruck. Words could not express his humiliation and embarrassment. With deep reverence, he knelt, adored our Lord in the Eucharist, and made an act of faith. Some pious women rushed to help the priest soak the sacred blood of our Lord. The news then quickly spread across the town and people all across Spain made a pilgrimage to Evora. The supernatural event was reported to the Bishop of Urgell, St. Ermengel, who at that time was at Guis Sana. He travelled to Evora to investigate the miracle. Having examined the chalice and corporal and learning the facts, he couldn't help but believe that the Church of Santa Maria experienced a supernatural and divine intervention. He was very pleased with his observations. Years later, Bishop Ermengel collected part of the most precious blood and headed for Rome. He presented the sacred objects to the Holy Father, Pope Sergius IV, and shared the miraculous event. The Pope was impressed by the miraculous episode and desired to learn more. After conducting extensive research, he signed a pontifical bull confirming the authenticity of the Eucharistic miracle. He authorized the veneration of the precious blood, and bestowed various valuable relics to Evora, in exchange for the chalice, among them a thorn from the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ, a hair of the Blessed Virgin, and a stone fragment of the Holy Sepulchre. In 1055, a church was inaugurated by Bishop Gilam Gifri de Avergel, and dedicated to San Cugat de Evora. Under the main altar of this parochial church, the relics of the miracle, Holy Doubt, or Sant Dubbed, as it's called along with the pontifical document, were placed. As of this day, the sacred relics are treasured in an elegantly erected Gothic reliquary from 1426, which houses the altar linen stained with blood as well as other relics entrusted to St. Ermengel by Pope Sergius IV. These relics, together with the corporals stained in that miraculous blood are still preserved and venerated in Ivora. King Alfonso the Magnanimous was responsible for raising finances to build the majestic reliquary. The current shrine was established in 1663 to meet the needs of the large number of pilgrims who visited each year to venerate the miracle. During the Spanish Civil War in 1936, a part of the church structure was destroyed along with other places of worship which were looted and destroyed by anti-Catholics. In 2010, to commemorate the 1,000-year Millennial Jubilee year, thousands of pilgrims from Catalonia participated in Holy Mass presided over by 72 priests, the Abbot of Montserrat, four bishops, and three archbishops. Each year, on the second Sunday of Easter, the Feast of La Santa Duda or the Holy Doubt is celebrated, commemorating the great miracle. The miracle of the Holy Doubt is recorded by religious and writer Narcis Camos, historian, publicist, and lawyer Felio de la Peña i Ferrell, Abbot Antonio Pons, ecclesiastic and scholar Dominic Costa i Boff Raul, 
historian Jamie Villanueva, archaeologist, and historian Joan Sara Ivalaro and Jaume Sari I. Muntada. Let us pray that the Eucharistic Lord may inspire us to love the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. Long live Christ the King! If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. I encourage you to donate so that I can make more of these videos. God bless.